Hi there and welcome to Lupin Mabel's Closet. My name is Jane and in today's video it's all about my Athena Kaku Meg dress and Brittany skirt pattern test. Hi, welcome back and before I continue if you've just found my channel and you like to follow along with what I bring out please don't forget to subscribe I really do appreciate it when you follow me along and uh, if you like my videos please don't forget to hit that like button at the end so yes Athena Kaku patterns um, I was fortunate to be um, invited to join the testing pool last year it was September in fact for her new pattern that she was bringing out, the Brittany skirt, which is now being published and the pattern is out. I think it came out this week or last week. And it just jogged my memory actually because I completely forgotten that I had made it. And uh, I'll pop pictures up of um, me wearing the skirt. So when I made mine, I used this really bright and floral vintage bark cloth that I had in my stash. I do like a bit of vintage bark cloth. It's very hard to get hold of these days and if you can get hold of it, it's quite expensive now and it's got a lovely, lovely texture and um, I just thought, oh, this would be perfect for the skirt. Now the pattern for the skirt is uh, like a shorter, shorter length and I made mine, I think I extended mine by five inches if I remember rightly because I'm not a great one for showing my legs. I just don't think I have very nice shapely legs at all. Because it was September too, I was thinking, oh, it's gonna be a little bit cooler. I'll make it longer, then I can wear it with some tights in the winter, because it's a really lovely thick, as I say, bark cloth. Uh, but the only thing is though, when I made it, it's, I found it really hard to match anything up with it, except for black. And um, I tried to match up the green, the bottle green, but it. I could never really match it up and it always looked it didn't look quite right if you didn't get the right colour green and um, obviously yellow was too much yellow so it was always black and um, I hardly wore it to be fair. I originally put the straps on because obviously it was a pattern test and obviously I wanted to follow the pattern for Athena and um, but in my um, comments and feedback at the end of the pattern test I said I probably wouldn't and make it with the straps and there is the option in the pattern that you can make it with or without the straps. Um, I just think it um, accentuates your boobs too much and yeah it's just not really me. So I took the straps off after we finished the pattern test and I wore it without the straps. But since I made the skirt, that was in September so I was like losing weight last year um, I in total have lost three and a half stone and since September last year I'd probably lost another probably two stones since then so obviously when I tried it on this week just to um, send Athena some more up-to-date pack uh, up-to-date pictures it was well I think at least five inches too big on the waist and um, I had to when I took the photographs I had to gather it at the back, pull it in at the back and stick a peg on it uh, just so I could get some photographs. Um, so I need to either take it in or take it all apart and make it into something else. I'm not sure what to do with it yet. Otherwise I'm going to have to take it, well I'm going to have to take it all apart anyway. Take the waistband off and maybe because then I think if I take it in it's probably going to have too much gather so I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with this, but it's a lovely pattern and it's out and release on her website this week. And Athena has since relaunched her website. So she's got new design, like new design on her website now. And she's now called AK Patterns, as in Athena Kaku, but it's now akpatterns.com. So that is the Britney skirt. And what a difference in losing weight. I, I went, I've put some pictures up, obviously, before the ones I took in the September and then the ones I took of me last week. And I, what a, a transformation. When I look at those pictures of me last year, I think, wow, I've come a long way in my weight loss. So I wanted to lose three stone and I've since 
since I got my three stone target in January, I've still I've lost another half a stone, but I've managed um, to maintain that now. So my three, I've maintained at three and a half stone, and I've maintained that now for about four or five weeks. So hopefully, I think I've got it cracked. I didn't want to keep on losing weight because that's not what I wanted. I wanted to get to a certain weight where I felt great and amazing and I do and um, so I didn't want to keep on going and obviously you can't keep on going because every time you make some clothes and they're not going to fit you so um, but now I got to the weight I wanted to be and I just thought that's it I'm happy I, every time I walk past the reflection on the conservatory or reflection on the glass window of a shop I just see myself and just think yeah that's exactly how I want to look and I feel amazing so but when I look back at those pictures, obviously it was on my weight loss journey, I thought, God, you know, I, I, did, I stuck at it and I was determined and I'm so glad I did. And I'm not going to uh, jeopardise that, not in a month of Sundays now. Um, so I'm more aware of what I eat. It's nice because it just makes me feel good because I've lost weight. I just feel absolutely amazing. I just feel like the person that I should be. So I'm comfortable in my own skin and um, it's a lovely feeling. Saying that, I mean, this is not a Slimming World advert or this is not a video about my weight loss, but while I'm on the subject, um, saying that since I lost three and a half stone, I've now got really untoned arms, untoned legs. So I need to, as soon as this coronavirus lockdown situation's over, I'm gonna start my yoga again and um, really get back into some toning um, exercise. I'm not so much bothered about um, type of ex. I don't wanna like get fit, if you know what I mean. I, need, I just wanna tone. So when this, once this is all over, I'm gonna uh, get back into my yoga. So, I digress. So that was a Britney skirt and it's a really lovely, lovely pattern. And obviously it's got the lovely big patch pockets on the front. Sorry, I didn't show you before. And obviously it's the zip at the back. Um, so yeah, so that was, that's the Britney skirt. And then when Athena brought out, uh, well, when she contacted us all last week and said, oh, the, the, the Britney pattern is now going to be published thanks for you know testing it just reminded me of the meg dress which i got around about the same time when i was pattern testing for the britney skirt and i bought the bought this pattern and then i didn't make anything with it i just thought oh the meg dress why haven't i made the meg dress so i had some fabric this fabric is um gifted from minerva.com in a return for a blog post so i will be doing a blog post which will be on minerva as soon as um their website has been relaunched i think it's getting a massive relaunch and we're all all the bloggers are waiting just for that to be completed and then we're all going to upload all our, our own blogs onto there so i've got a couple in the queue in my i've got a couple that i've already got ready and made um which will go onto the site um, so this will be one of those and it's just a gorgeous double gauze fabric with this prettiest of dusky rose and these little ditzy prints. I'll stand up a little bit so you can see a little bit closer. So it's just a really dusky rose and these little ditzy flowers I suppose. And while I'm stood up I'll just show you. It comes with a belt and then you've got your tie loops and it's just really simple. Got the cuff sleeves and just a normal neck opening, big enough for you to get your head on and off so there's no fastenings anywhere. It's a beautiful, simple pattern, but it's beautiful in its simplicity I think and it so reminds me of the pinnies that we call them here in the northeast aprons um, the pinny that my nana used to wear the proper full-on pinny that she used to pop over her head and wear over her, her clothes obviously to keep all the clothes from getting splashed and what have you because she was an avid baker making bread and cakes and all sorts and she used to wear these pinnies every time we used to go around and see her she'd have this full-on 
over pinny and this reminds me of, of of what she used to wear and i just love the simplicity of it it's going to be a great summer addition to my wardrobe now i've got some obviously pictures of me wearing it in the garden this morning when the sun was out i've got my bare arms and i just thought oh this is great pop on over my jeans or maybe some some leggings or linen trousers and it's just going to be great for through the summer it's cool it's airy and it's summery and it's light and it just makes you feel like summer and i really enjoyed wearing it this morning but since then it's clouded over and it's got a little bit cool and i think we're going to get rain later so i've just popped on one of the, my long sleeve tees so it's versatile too uh, so you could you could make this in maybe a uh, brushed cotton for through the winter or maybe a wool type of wool type of fabric for through the winter and wear it with another top underneath maybe even a polo neck or a roll neck uh, it's just really versatile and um, I really do like it I just like it because it's it's very plain and simple but it's really pretty in its in its design and um, it's a perfect pattern. If you're new to sewing or you're back into sewing and you're a little bit rusty, I shall show you um, the picture. So that's the um, Meg dress and that's the, I think that's a full length version of it. Uh, but I, as I say, I'm not really into dresses as such. I only wear dresses if I'm on holiday abroad. I, I, I'm not, not really into wearing dresses at home. Yeah, I shortened mine by four and a half inches, but there's two options. I'll show you the options. So there's a dress and then you've got the tunic length. So the tunic length is without side pockets and the dress is the options, obviously, to put the pockets in. So I went halfway. So I went longer than the tunic, but not as long as the dress. So about mine's about that length. It just comes to my knees. So it's a perfect popover dress that I can wear, as I say, over some linen trousers, my jeans, which I've got on, or maybe some leggings and I've got my clogs on, my wooden clogs. Casual for around the house, but also really pretty or really simple and elegant to go out with. And um, I just love it. I really do think so. I'm definitely going to be making some more for the summer. I'm going to get myself some, some more lovely summery um, fabrics like this double gauze and just make a few. Linen will be nice as well, I think, in this. Uh, just pop it on and away you go and as I say you can wear it bare arms or a top underneath. If you've never heard of Athena Kaku patterns um, it's, she's, it's a lovely website she's got some lovely patterns on there um, and it's well worth taking a look and it's simple her instructions are always spot on. I found when I did the pattern test for the Britney skirt her instructions are spot on and notches really well drafted again the notches are spot on and her instructions are clear and simple and it's exactly what you want in a pattern. I'm still waiting to hear back from Simple Sew over my, you know, my brocade trousers, Nightmare, I think it was six faults I found. I'm still waiting to hear back from them. I had to uh, email them twice, no reply. In the end, I had to direct message them on Instagram twice and on, on the third attempt, I got... Um, through Instagram I got a sorry for the delay we will get back to you as soon as we can and that was over a week ago and still nothing since so I'm still waiting to hear about that uh, whereas this pattern Athena Kaku's patterns they are just just perfect you know simple but go into detail enough detail for what you need because some patterns are going into very little detail and you have to do a lot of thinking and puzzling is that the right way am I doing it right where her patterns is there's nothing left that you could be confused about she doesn't leave anything out everything's in there that you need and it's perfect beginner perfect beginner pattern I, I squeeze this out of two meters of fabric and I've got a tiny little bit of scrap left enough maybe to line a couple of pockets so I got this length which is in between the tunic and the dress out of two meters of fabric so if you wanted to do the tunic, which I intend to do again, because it's another great top, again, to layer over a skirt or maybe over some trousers and great just to pop on. But I'm definitely going to have a go maybe doing the tunic length and definitely just repeating this length that I've got on because I just think it's a lovely feminine length because it looks like a dress. Well, it is a dress, um, but it's a dress that I can layer it over some trousers rather than having bare legs and what have you. 
um, but you've got the option of doing the full length dress too. So it's really nice and I'm really impressed and I really like it. Um, I'm off to do some preparation in some free t-shirt patterns that I'm interested in having a go at which I mentioned in my previous vlog and I have got another Somerset t-shirt ready cut out to sew up um, and I've also got that gorgeous fabric green fabric that is waiting to be cut into so hope you enjoyed today's vlog on Athena Kaku patterns that I really like and uh, if you haven't heard of her patterns then it's well worth having a look at her website she's got some lovely patterns I've got the Abbey jumpsuit to make and also the Nikki cardigan so I shall obviously share with you when I make them so yeah and if you've liked today's video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to follow along with me but until the next vlog thank you so much for watching me today and please take care and as always happy sewing <laughs>